Uh, I wouldn't want to stay in an abandoned village. No thanks. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehu, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on Twitch.tv slash Lehu Super Fina. Today, we are reacting to In the Land of Leadell. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to In the Land of Leadell, episode 10, after we encountered some zombies. Oh, these zombies are kind of passive. Burn down the village? That seems a bit much. There can't be anybody else in here, right? Isn't she the only one? That looks like a woman. Nope, but it sounds like a man. It is a woman! But she's a- it's a player! I wonder if it's a man. With a female avatar. Are you playing with other players? Oh, wait, 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 wait! Yeah, right there! There's a survivor! This is getting interesting. Why are you still pretending to be a woman? Does he not know? You know who she is. Why do you have so many X's in your name? Exodus and his other. Tartar songs for Tartars. <laughs> Why does he have so many accounts? Yeah, you're actually a guy. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, what are you two doing here? Huh, seems like fishing villages are being targeted. What? If you touch the fog? What? <laughs> <laughs> For two years, he was probably trying to act feminine. <laughs> They're like so surprised. <laughs> he has bad experiences with Opsu too. Oh, so she hasn't touched the fog yet. I thought she was immune to the fog. But where is the source? Fog. It's like in the air. Huh? That's just how much I played the game. <laughs> it's, it's not hard to reach 10,000 hours. She wasn't a shut in by choice, okay? That maid? She's gonna summon the maid. He's like, don't summon the maid. She's like, sure. <laughs> Please be the maid. Please, please. And it looks like it's the butler. It's a butler. Darn. <laughs> So cute, the ears twitching. Where the failure of a cat is. It'd be cool if there's like a game where you have to reach oh so many hours and then you can have like a game integration experience afterwards.
We have a hit. The boss is the ghost ship. I love ghost ships. So fluffy the tail. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the guardian of the tower. <laughs> so this ghost ship has been traveling from village to village. That's an interesting event. Oh, what? He uses the villagers to revive? What a cheat. We got some epic music going on. Mm -hmm. Time to kick some butt. Oh. The gender bender uses a... Whip kind of reminds me of Castlevania, Belmont. <gasps> That's it? Really? Well, that was quick. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. So is the next part the Guardian Tower? And then returning the mermaid. <laughs> She's like, what do you expect? <laughs> the little girl, she's an orphan now. <laughs> Her summit. Oh. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe you made me feel sorry about a summoned beast. <laughs> Why are you still trying to be feminine? It's okay, you can pull off the tomboy personality thing. Oh, she's waking up! I wonder if she's part of the quest. Oh, pretty. She's scared of the big dragonoid. Uh, I wouldn't want to stay in an abandoned village. No thanks. That was a very heartwarming moment. Guardian Tower time!
without dying. You can't swim. Wait, but how did she find the mermaid in the well? Does she mean like she can't swim that deep? Or was she using the summon spirits that time to help her swim? This totally reminds me of Final Fantasy fourteen Ruby C. It looks very similar. <laughs> But I guess, like, a lot of MMOs have something like that. The frog that we saw in the transition. It's got to be the frog. Oh, and now it's all bright. Let there be light. Are you a guest? That does look like an enemy. So this is number six. Does this mean you're my master now? It's very interesting because this guardian talks slow. It's like they're uh, stretching out their words. <laughs> you almost touched the tongue. <laughs> Oh, that guardian was super nice. And back to the surface we go. And they're adding each other as friends. See? Friend request accepted. One, two, three, four. She's only been there for two months and she's already met other players. Well, these two only met each other? I guess they don't have any more information on why they got isekai
It seems like it's random, whoever got sent to the game. Or the game world. Oh. So she's taking her in. They're going to be at that village. When's she going to build her house? Guarantee we're going to have like a time skip and see the girl all grown up later on. I'm wondering if we're going to have that time skip during the series or after the series ends. Like at the end of the series. You know what I mean? This is a good episode introducing other... Which I call it players. Mm-hmm. Tartar sauce. <laughs> I, it never occurred to me to make tartars into tartar sauce. <laughs> That's super funny. And I like how they brought in the aspect that some players like to make avatars the opposite gender. That's cool, but I think I think it was kind of funny, yet it was kinda of annoying me that he kept going back to being feminine when he didn't need to. But I think that was for humor. And I also like how they brought in the aspect that players do have multiple accounts. I'm just wondering why he got stuck with that account. Because I think the other one, Tartar, is, is more powerful. I think that would be more beneficial to him. But to each to their own. And it's the story. It makes sense, you know? Like, it would make sense that not everybody can be playing their OP character. You know him, since he had multiple accounts, he just happened to be with this one. And it's the one that he wants. The beefed up kind. <laughs> what did you guys think about this episode? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on Twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to podcasts is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lee and this is the Superfina channel reacting to In the Land of Leo Del, episode 10. Hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Laters.